Skills and drills. This is the one two drill for giving and going. Set up four points, one in each corner of the goal third. The ball starts in the circle with point one. Point two drives forward for the ball receiving a pass, and they give it to point three who's driving up the sideline. Point two gets a give and go and receives it back on the circle edge. Point three then gives and goes and gets it back on the top of the third. They fire it to point four, who fires it straight back, and guess what they do? They give a go onto the circle edge. And then they pass it to point one, who's driving into the circle under the post. And if they're a shooter, they can put up the shot. If not, the drill continues as normal. Let's watch that all again so you can get your head around it. Once you pass the ball to a cue, you follow it and go to that cue for your next movement. This means that the drill is continuous and you get opportunity to try each movement pattern whilst in the drill. At first look, it does look complicated, but that's the same with any new drill. There is no decision making in this drill at this point, so just make sure you know the movement pattern from each corner and you'll be fine. We're not going to watch it in real speed, we're going to watch it slightly slower because there is a lot going on. To simplify the drill, you can get players to go back to the same cue that they came from. That way they're practicing the same movement pattern over and over again and should be able to remember it. You can then stop the drill and get everybody to rotate clockwise one so they practice a new movement pattern. To progress the drill, you can add a defender to mark Q2 and Q4. This defender should stay with the attacker from that cue only and shouldn't mark anything else in the drill. I'll highlight those players so you can see who should be defended. Getting your defenders to mark here makes your centre court have to work really hard to get onto circle edge. If you want to make your shooters work hard to get towards post, you can make your defenders mark you one. And if you want your defenders to work really hard when bringing the ball out away from the circle edge, you can get them to mark Q2. It's up to you really. And that's it. That's the one-two drill for giving and going. It's the most difficult one we've done so far, so let us know how you get on. If you like this video and would like to see more videos from my net, then please subscribe. If you want to know more about my netball and Mizuno netball, check out the social media links below. Thanks for watching.